Hello everybody, my name is Brahim and welcome back to our Baltic Crusader Achievement Run. So, last episode we managed to get Sweden independent. We're, yeah, we're best friends now. And we're waiting for the truce against Pomerania to run out so we can declare on them. 1463 September, that's one year, yeah, 16 months. Um, Monster broke with Tyrone. Okay. So I have some spare points. We can start developing our our cities like local goods produce. Actually, this improved the goods produce. That means I should probably do that on my best to to two point five. Let me see. Point zero five per month. Point zero four per month. Point zero five. Point zero four. Yeah, probably anything we can build here. Temple? No. Yeah, this will improve the production. And that means, let me see, trade value, trade power. Value of trade goods and goods produce 1.6. Hmm. Yeah, probably this is the best option because fish is a better. Better resource. Trading by merchant republics or trade companies. Okay, let's go with the ones with fish. Over here and over here. Now, for the other, let's go with base tax. I think base tax did improve. Base tax, 0.12, that means one base tax. Is it the same in everyone? No. 0 0.09. That's 0 0.0 because they have the temple. Well, let's improve over here on twice, yeah. Okay, so we spent some points there. Province values, let's see. Neighbor force limit, land force limit, possible number of buildings. And building cost. Trebison declare independence. The Iberian wedding. What? End of Castilian civilian war. What the hell? I been in waiting, but it never happened, so... Okay. <clears throat> Still low manpower. Um, let's fabricate.
And here I should define what ID I'm going to take. Quantity, maybe. Yeah, I think quantity. Labor force limiting garrison size. Oh, yes. I like that. I like garrison size. <clears throat> now we're improving with France September just one more year until we can declare on Pomerania Um, we're still, let me see, 20, yeah, we're still, manpower is growing so slow, and I still don't get it why I'm getting only 139 per month, it used to be 10% of your maximum manpower per month, so, Oh, actually it's not 10%, it was 10 years. So let me make a quick calculation. I think it's okay. So if it is 16,808 divided by 10, that's 1.6 thousand per year divided by 12, that's 140. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. In 10 years, if you fully recover your manpower. I would have thought it was 10%, but that was my mistake. <clears throat> All right. Let's go speed four for a little bit. Um, ba -ba we're collecting in Novgorod and Krakow. Are we actually pushing into the Baltic Sea? How much do we have in the Baltic Sea? 48%. Good. Ottomans will cede to the Mamluks. What? The Ottomans actually lost to the Mamluks? Whoa. And look at Provence taking some land from Brittany. Herald from Ravensburg. Magdeburg. Yeah. You're gone. <clears throat> French conquest of Calais. You're going to get it back, probably. Okay, let's fabricate on the last province from Lithuania. Minus four. Gaining military power or two mercantilism. I think two mercantilism, right? Let me see. Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. That means more trade power, more money, more. Let's stay with that. Okay, so July, we're close, we're close. Who are you allied with? Um, Livonia Northern and Friesland.
So if I were to declare on you, who would join? Sweden, Muscovy. Let's go back. Oh, Kohlberg. Why do you have unrest? Holy crap. Autonomy decrease. Okay. So Muscovy would join. Oh, Sweden is a dead. Really? Well, at least you're not going to join. <laughs> oh, Austria will join this. Good. And Pomerania. Okay, let's do that. Let's take care on the Vonian order. Let's move over here. The thing is, Sweden. Yeah, that's that's a problem, cause they might join soon, as soon as they pay their their loan. But hey. I will have Austria and Muscovy on my side, right? So let's do that. Pomerania as a co belligerent and go for it. Riga, Pomerania, Austria, Hungary, Muscovy, Perm, Peskov join. Everybody join the fight. Um, some fight somewhere, okay. <clears throat> no, all right, that was one thing I wanted to do. Can we go to Oslo? Bosnia with Albania. We got that. Let's go over here. All right, good. Now this is the actual fort, right? Yes. So you're going there on February 13th. And I'm going there too. Please, 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 please. No, 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 no. That was a bad move. Okay, give me a second, give me a second. What? Gain administrative power or gain papal influence? Give me admin power. He lost the fight against who? The Ivonian Order. For as long as anyone remembers, we have considered ourselves to be friends with the Livonian. However, with the recent humiliating defeat at the hands of our former friends, Remove a historical friend. Okay. We are no longer historical friends. Hey, where the hell are you going? Get out of here. Where's Muscovy going? Go and take that, Muscovy. Um, Hungary, you can take that. Actually, you can take that. Or this is for Peskov. This is for Perm. Okay, just 
Do that, please. <clears throat> oh boy. I need 12,000 men to, to fully reinforce. I'm never going to fully reinforce. Hey, where are my ships? Yo, you know what? You just stay here. Don't, don't move. Um... You're still a dead, so you're not willing to join. Poland accepted with peace with Scotland. So, when you get your dead out of the way, you will join. Good. What's this? Normally we sit or to Scotland, Denmark will be forced to give Scotland. Denmark will lose East Frisia, a sovereign state. Okay. And Denmark has minus 21. Looks like they're going to lose uh, Norway too. Right? Um, should it go against Friesland? No, Austria is doing that. Just let's leave Austria with that. Scotland enter. Okay. <clears throat> I have three diplomats. Can I fabricate here or here? No. Here, yes. In Berlin, sure. Dum, dum, pa, da, da, dum, dum. From reading separatist, still nothing. Just give me this. Give it to me, Muscovy, of course. So we can fully annex Pomerania. Are they my rivals? No. <clears throat> um. Actually, let me see. Papal state. We can improve a little bit the relation over here. At least until this siege falls. You have you have six seven thousand men. Hey, maybe I could vassalize you. And Denmark, Norway is free. Okay. So, Pomerania. Should I vassalize here? Let me see. They have cores to get back. Yes, they are all mine. So, this will cost 90. Actually, it's not that much. 24, 240. No, give me that. And that. One forty one. No Pomerania. That's negative six. So couple more. Oh, are you going to try to get your
Hasselback? I don't think so. Lose five prestige. No. Or lose ten prestige. Okay, lose five. Let's wait for a second. About that, it's the same. So they're going to take that back. Yeah, okay, this five. Um, don't worry, I will get it back really fast. Because we still have the the castle, so uh, no, Pomerania. I'm sorry, no. So where is Muscovy? Hey, are you fighting? No. Okay, well, I'm going to make a quick break, and next episode we'll fully annex Pomerania and take some land from Livonia in order. So stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want. It will really help. And also like the videos. And see you next time. Bye-bye.